Is it possible to beat Minecraft with only my bare fist? I'm not just talking about killing the Ender Dragon with my bare fist. But this also means I can't even use any sorts of tools. And not just that. I have to beat this in hardcore mode. First things first, I had to, of course, get the basic needs like wood. Considering that I can't use any tools, the only thing I could make was a boat. Nice. After that, I got some food. Wow. Yeah! Look at him, boys. I'm going crazy. Now, all I needed was to find a village. So that's what I did. After what I felt like a very long time, I found a village. Oh, hold up. Is this a village? Oh my gosh. Let's go. This was very nice because this meant that I could finally get iron from the iron golem. Oh, ah, yes. It's going to take so long. A few moments later. Oh, let's go! How much? We okay? That would do. That would do. That would do. After that, I made the iron into an iron bucket and grabbed some water. With this water bucket, I'm able to make another portal. But to do so, I must find a lava pool. Let's just say it was a wild experience. Oh my gosh, I'm so good at this game. Oh my gosh, one wrong move and I'm screwed. Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh, I hate that. Never do that again. I, I found a lava pool though. We found it. It's going to take me a while to mine this, but we'll see how it goes. After many, many minutes of breaking cobblestone deep slate, I was able to slowly but surely make the nether portal. And it's finally completed. And now we can go in. Okay. The moment of truth. Okay. Decent spawn. Now it was time to find the nether fortress, which I eventually did, but then this happened. Blazer. Okay. Okay, I have an idea. I'm gonna go in. Oh no. Clutch, clutch, sheds, clutch. After that moment, I thought it was best to make a much safer strategy to kill the blazes. This strategy was to trap the blazes in a 1v1 hole and get absolutely destroyed by my bare fist. After many hours of punching blazes, I finally got enough rods. Luckily, we made our way back to our home safely. All right, here we go, sheds. Let's go! We are finally back! Now all I needed was to get some pearls. Once I do that, I'm able to go to the end. So that's what I did. I collected as many ender pearls as I could while I'm counting almost death at the same time. Stay calm, stay calm, stay calm, stay calm. Oh no. Oh my gosh! Oh, that was the closest ever! Okay, remember, do not right-click on that. Luckily, I got the pearls I needed, and now it was time to go to the end. Finding the end was difficult, because if there wasn't any caves, I had to mine all the way down to Stronghold with my bare fist. Unfortunately, there wasn't any caves, and I had spent 30 minutes just digging straight down. Once I got to the Stronghold, I made my way to the end portal and filled it with the eyes of Ender. Just for good luck, I did the moonwalk. <laughs> Somewhat. That was probably the worst everything I saw, dude. And here we go. What well, boom Oh, baby, we got lucky. We got lucky. The moment of truth. And I beat the game with only using my bare hands. Pop you there. Thank you. Oh, I'm too good at this game. Boom. There we go. Let's end this game. I need to time this so well, dude. That did nothing, but that's fine. Bye, have a great oh! What the heck? Oh! Oh my gosh, he's crazy! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was so Dude. close to killing the Ender Dragon. All I needed was to throw this Ender Pearl. That's how I die? Oh my gosh. Jeez, jeez, Chads. Oh no. 50 likes. I'll do this again. Let's see if we can do it.